about you, right? All right, Shalom, Shalom. Another day to preach this glorious word. We all gather here together, you know, through the spirit. And uh, we're just going to go through a few things, open for them. The spirit, may the spirit be with us. Yeah. And may you brothers and sisters watch and be edified. Uh, uh, and if you're on the fence and you're watching, you better repent. Yeah. The Heavenly Father's getting ready to do his son's sin destruction. That's you right. can't. we always been saying, you're not going to be able to go down that straight gate with a double mind. Yeah. There's a scripture that talks about coming out to the Heavenly Father with a double mind. James, James the first chapter. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah a double minded man, man is unstable. Because right. right. if you are unstable going into the straight gate, man, pretty much you're going to do something to. Have off your salvation, yeah. You want to fall over to one of those sides, right? So that's explaining, right? So as we're doing these videos, we're not doing these videos because we have a, a hard on to curse out another camp or to make ourselves look better. But we defending uh, uh, Yahweh through the Son Yahweh Shai, because that's the only way back to glory. You got men coming with these wayward doctrines trying to uh, diminish the importance of Yahweh Shai and uplift themselves. So we're gonna go through the Spirit. Okay, yeah. Right. This is uh, the book of Philippians, Philippians 1, and I'm going to start at uh, verse 5. It says, For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Yahweh Shah. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, and as much as both in my bonds. In what? In work. We're in bond. We're in bonds. We're in chains. We're prisoners of Yahweh Shai, right? It says, and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you are partakers of my grace, yeah. right? Now, now jumping down, if I may, yes, it's, like being, it's like being incarcerated to a service to what is uh, you know to uh, to Yahweh Shai. We're, we're basically bound by serving yeah. and defending the word. That's right, you know. That's it, and that's why, you know, we don't, like the elder said, we are not really trying to jump out there and, and cause a scene or whatever. We were bound by the, uh, the prophecies, you know, we were bound by, yeah, we were bound by the word of the Lord. You know, should you say, who can but prophesy? Because when you, you see, like, Romans 16 and 17 tell you what? Mark when that caused the vision, right? right? So anytime you see all these, and it's going to kind of, you know, we might not get at every single, there's so many different weirdo doctrines or things that have contradicted the scriptures, and some of them don't even deserve no breath at all, but we don't, when we see it, of course, we're going to be passionate or whatever, and it is what it is, right? But now, verse 12, it says, I, but I would, I would, you should understand, brethren, that the things which happened to me have fallen out rather into the furtherance of the gospel. So when you go back to all the different splits, because uh, most of the people that you see out there in the highways and the byways are what? Products of the One West yep. camp, right? Before all the splits and even us eventually getting kicked out from the house of David and all that stuff, it all goes back to one one less. Yeah. But it happened for the furtherance of the gospel to push the Lord used that to push his word. So it's all spiritual. The most side is behind both sides. The, the deceiver and the deceived are his. That's right. right. And the Lord got his men. As we read on, Paul said, Look, we set for the defense of the gospel. So it said, So that my bonds and Yahweh Shai are manifest in all the palace. And in all other places, yeah. which means out there in the public, man. All right. How many times should we say public? Make it the clear, clear. Make it public. How many times does scripture speak about that? Right. Still not. Mm-hmm. Right. It's still not. Right. So that's why we got to be out there in the palace. <clears throat> that would, the, the apostles was doing. It's the apostle Paul. It said, and many of the brethren of the Lord waxing confident by my bonds, which a lot of brothers that follow and watch from the head elder apostle on down, right? They give reverence like we always do, double lines to the apostles. And all the rulers, the brothers that rule well, as well as the rest of the Akin, right? Brothers are what? Getting pumped up and getting their spirit lifted up. And they preach. It says, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. And we at the time now, you got brothers popping up all over the place in the spirit, GMS camps, you know? And that's how we know that we in that time. It says, some indeed preach the outside even of envy and strife. And you know those that are out there, and you know nobody that they fruit. You know who's not really sincere. 
right? Like the top, the main hot topic been what? About Yahweh Shai. Right. The upliftment of Yahweh Shai. Right. About Yahweh Shai being, being the son of the Most High who deserves the worship and the glory and all the praise that we give him. We don't praise and glorify Yahweh Shai enough, man. Right? right. So, so when anybody sit there and say, oh, it ain't about Yahweh Shai, you know, it, it, not saying they say that per se, but in a roundabout way, that's what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Or they're trying to replace himself as Yahweh Shai. Right. Like you had Tyler Blackula did, he said he's the God sent right. comforter. Right. Nah, we gotta we gotta jump on this, man. Right, right. right. Them, them niggas, they trying to diminish the Son of the Lord. They they straight up trying to diminish Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. He's the author and finisher of our faith. What the hell is wrong with you niggas? Yeah, that's right. I mean, like, what what in the world is wrong with you niggas? Uh -huh. It's it's a it's a demon on you, but more so you took that payoff because that uh the Rosicrucians had to step to you and tell you, look. You gotta um, you gotta denounce your house shot. Don't use that name, but you gotta denounce it. And that's what they're doing. You niggas, you're diminishing the name of the Son of the Most High, which that's the way that we're gonna get out of here. Okay. There's no other way for us to make it to the kingdom oh, that's except we go through your house shot. So where do you monkeys come up with this stuff from? Where do you get this from? Who are you? <laughs> Who sent you? What, what, what part of God of goddamn hell did you come out of? Yep. Yeah. Everybody got somebody got script. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let the scripture be there. Acts, Acts 4 and 12, I think. Oh, is that all right? 4 and 20. Yep. Yeah. Right. Talk about what you got. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is Philippians 1 and 15 through 17. Oh, that's what I that's what I was just reading. Oh, okay. That's, that's right. the spirit. Okay. They call. Right. Well, now I think this brother got something. Dr. Mouse said you got something. This is a real quick one. This is the book of St. John chapter 10, just to land back off of the uh, elder of the doctor. John chapter 10, verse 9. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Right. Look at that. The door. Yeah, I was trying to tell you that he is the door. Any man that enter in shall be saved. So you got to go. The pathway is through your house shot. There is no way of getting around it. And trying to come up another way, you're a thief and a robber. Which is what you niggas are. Thieves and robbers. But hirelings. Yep. Hirelings. Kind of. I read it again. Tom, John chapter 10, verse 9. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Yeah, yeah which is the more knowledge of the truth. Right. The pastures, those green pastures, represents the knowledge of the truth. You, you get fed more and more so you can right. stay more in the last days. These doctrines that these other individuals are teaching are not going to have you stay more in the last days. The point of Yahweh Shai dying on the cross, shedding his blood for our sins, and so we have a like the scripture said, to purge your conscience. And that's what we're preparing for, to have our conscience, you know, purge for the last days. To make it through the, the hell that's about to come through. You know, that's what it's all about. These doctrines that are being taught is not preparing you for the last days. They're preparing you to just be niggas with fringes and, 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 and a Bible. Yeah, you know, right here, they're preparing they're, you for some, some temporary glory yeah, exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah. The water. Right. right. Yeah. yeah, doing it to be seen of men, essentially. And you know, the fringes in the Bible, right? And you're looking to be seen of men. You want the praise of men, but you did get the praise of men, and then them same men condemned your monkey ass. Uh, uh, you know, the Gerber baby, the swollen head Gerber baby. You know that nigga? The, the dagger nigga? Yeah. Con. Con. Scripture. Yep, I got something. This is uh, uh, 1 Peter 2 and 25. For ye were as sheep going astray. But are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the bishop of your soul. The bishop is the head of the church. Yeah. So when you go into the heavens, Yahweh Shah is the head of the church. The, we're the first yeah. fruits, Lord willing. But who's the head of that? Yeah. That glory didn't come, it came, it came from the Most High through Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. He's the bishop of our soul. He's the head of the church, you know? And when you go into this chapter, I didn't want to go through the whole thing. Of course, it, it goes into suffering, you know? And that's what the ultimate thing is. The doctrine of the Al Shah is taught through suffering, all right? And it's not, it, again, it's not about the glory of man. It's not about the glory of this time. It's about showing yourself worthy to suffer for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and then getting a crown of glory later on, right? You know, these individuals, they teach, uh, 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 they have a, they teach for an incorruptible crown. Right. Thus saith the Bible, you know? Right, I got what you said. Somebody go say something. I got it. No, you got it. Well, that's real quick. That's one right. right. This is John 14, verse 6. The Hawashai is saying unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It says, No man cometh unto the Father 
but by me. Hey, hey, and you know what? The spirit, the spirit of the Lord got to keep hearing at this point. But again, you know, we, you know, brothers, well, you ain't got to get, go too crazy to too much. At the end of the day, the Lord set these niggas and chosen for that lot, like Judas Iscariot and mm -hmm. those of that type of that ilk of that branch and other with Caiaphas and all these other wicked high pieces and chief high people. They got their role. The most high put them there basically to be destroyed, man. Right. You know, and you tell you that in the book of Jude about them. You know, which the brothers want to be dead, they can hold that on that. But we got the spirit got us, oh that's the spirit man. Well, no, I got oh, okay, okay. But the Lord got us keep hammering this point that the house side is the way. All right? If you, if you don't learn anything, learn this. It's about the how about the how All right? All right? If you, you see the the, uh, the apostles, they, they, they taught you about the how side. They never say worship me. Right. Right? That you got bow down before me. I'm going to save you. I'm going to do No. That's the how side. All right? So that, at the end of the day, it's about the how side. That's why the Spirit keeps bringing this up. Right. Well, when, you, when we say call the law, Yahweh. But Hashem Yahushua, what does that mean? Right, mm -hmm. right. Because you got camps that say that, but in the same breath, they're they're trying to diminish the importance of the law. Mm -hmm. All right, but yeah, you call all praise to Yahweh, but through Yahushua, so what does that mean? It's, do you come into the Lord with a double heart? And I'm gonna read this real quick. This is Sirach chapter five and nine, because this is what's happening with a lot of you you, you watchers. Went on not with every wind, and go not into every way. For so doth the sinner that hath a double tongue. Mm, there you go. Be steadfast in thine understanding and let thy word be the same. Yeah. Oh, steadfast in oh, understanding. Oh, steadfast in understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, th this, these watchers, like you said, they're not steadfast in understanding yeah. because mm -hmm. you're you tossed to and fro. Yeah. You know, if you were steadfast in your understanding, then you would pick a side, if you will. Right. right. You know, you would stand on something. Right. You know, you right. thank you for what? Yep. Right. Most people are here for the glory of this world, with, with you know, in the flesh, with you know, tickles their fancy, the, the matching garments, the rap videos, and all of these things, which they have every right. This, this is their grace period, so they do what the hell they want. You know, we, we get mad at it, but you know, it's just what we ain't, because that ain't what we do. But that's what they do. Right. But at the end of the day, you have Israel, who's played they, the flesh is what drives them, and you don't have a, and, and that's how it's supposed to be. Actually, you, you're not gonna, you're gonna have more people driven by the flesh than the people who are watching. Because you do an edifying video, it's the less views. Right. Right. When it's controversy, it's, it's, it's all the views. Everybody's looking. Oh, man, y'all yeah, know the perfect example of that, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 There was two parts to that video. Right. Yeah. The first part was with the bitch, you know, cuts again, cuts again. Right. You know, then, you know, you're a slut, you're a slut. Y'all remember that, right? <laughs> that one got, yeah. that went viral. That, that grew a life of itself. But now the, the part two of that video right. had way less views, and that was when the spirit really turned up, and the, the spirit got the apostles all and the rest of the apostles to go deep in the scriptures and prophesying. But not too many people watch that, you know. And that's the script we've been quoting in what Ecclesiastes, right? right. It was uh, of, of the poor despised, the poor man's despised, right? Yeah, rich man speak to everybody. Yup, yeah, yeah, look, yup. Yeah. I got something real quick. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Acts 20 and 31. It says, Therefore, watch and remember <clears throat> that by the space of three years, I <laughs> ceased not. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 I know it's so much fire, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that one you got. All right, I'm going to start at 25. It says, And now behold, I know that ye all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of the Most High, shall see my face no more. Right. Well, 28. All right. Acts 20 and 28. It says, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit had made you overseers mm. to feed the church of the Most High. Mm. Which so he had made the church. Yeah, they ain't talking to you. They're right. Yeah. And that's the strict commandment, too. To the brother, you hear the apostles speak about it, but the camp has. You be responsible for what goes on in your camp. Brothers got to start being, at these times, you got you can't afford to be careless. Lax, and slack. Nah, you got to be on point. You know, because why? We in those times, man. The, the devil goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So if you a uh, camp leader, you, you've been appointed that. Like like the uh, elder Josh Womba said, that's talking to you. And talking to all of us, all right? Take heed. You got it out.
to feed the church of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh which he purchased with his own blood. Mm. For I know and, this. and remember that the body is the church of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Right. You're going to be your personal servants. You can't just handle brothers any way you want. All right? You got to handle them with care because Yahweh Shai already purchased us with his own blood. Yeah. Okay? So we belong to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Right? And once that purchase is made, there's no refund. There's no, yeah. There's no, no yeah, refund. Yeah, God. It's so right. Right. The purchase yeah. is made. That's why we don't need any other doctrine. Right, we, right. We, we don't need anything outside of what's been taught. The part, look, the transaction happened already. You know? The song is being sung. Yeah, the song being sung. It's over, dog. Just, just, you know, just get with it or get rolled over. Right. I didn't say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I never say it. Uh, verse 29, it says, For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Yeah, man. You, 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 you're careless to the minds of the, your people. Because these niggas, they come up, well, just in general, you know, um, you have outside of the ones that carry the true doctrine. Because everybody thinks, even you see with uh, Kwame Brown, Hassan, yeah, the people, the people, Styles of Peace, yeah, the people, the people, the people, the you, the you, the you. Which also means they're talking about the flock. Yeah. You know? But they don't, nobody really cares about the flock unless you're dealing within the context of what Yahweh Shai told us to teach. Right. If you're not dealing with what Yahweh Shai was telling you, you don't care about the flock. Right. You're on your own. Yeah, you're on your own, you're on your own agenda. Stuff, really. You know? Yep. And you had these men around as Paul was setting up these churches, and even as Yahweh Shai was on the scene, these men were around, you know, who had their, you know, they, they, they believed in this, the Most High. All right, they, they were, you know, pretty much all into that first covenant which we broke. Then that's why you see an attack on Yahweh Shai and Paul, because when they came, they wasn't about that. Right. They was pretty much, look, look uh, obedient to what we need to do to get the fuck up out of here now. You know? Yeah. And to downplay yourself, put yourself, you know, to hell with this position you have, to hell with all of these endless genealogy, to hell that the, the, the temple's going to get destroyed. All right, look. And they didn't want to do it. Right. And so that's why you see an attack on Paul and things like that. Yeah, because they preach humility. You know, they yeah, preach, they, they preach sacrifice. Right. You know, they, they preach things that a nigga is allergic to. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, niggas don't want to, you don't hear these cats talking about uh, humility and, nah. you know, uh, sacrifice or, you know, uh, doing, going to the extent of, like, not for nothing, you know, you know, we just given a great example, first and foremost, through your hour shot, washing the feet of the disciples, right, telling, to, look, scriptures tell you about being a, a servant unto the body. You know, when you look at these individuals, and the doctrine has nothing to do with being a servant because that was the opposite of what the Pharisees and them were doing. They were looking to be served as opposed to be doing the service. And when the, the true priest, the, the real priest is supposed to be doing the service. Right, right. Yeah. You know, you're yeah. subject to the people. Wow. So lot here. Yeah. You know, I got a quick priest up for you. First Corinthians 7, 23. Ye are bought with the price, but not ye, be not ye the servants of men. Because the price we were bought with was Yahweh Shai's blood. So we ain't supposed to be the servants of men. We're supposed to be the servants of Yahweh Shai. Right. right. Because he got on the cross and shed his blood so we can get the kingdom. That's why it says in Romans, uh, what is that? Uh, when, uh, I think it's Galatians. Sorry, I said Romans, Galatians. Uh, uh, when the time that, um, yeah. It's talking about when it's talking about the Lord, um, where it said that he was born of time. said he was when the fullness of time came, the Lord sent his son, born of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law. Because it was time for Israel to have a savior, to get that salvation for it. Right. Because because up to that point, up to that point, we was basically cast off. Right. So then Yahweh Shai came, so that way we had another way to still receive the king. And it's funny that the book right before the New Testament is, is Malachi. Uh -huh. the priests were cursed out. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. The very yeah. yeah. prophesied of John the Baptist. Right. Mm -hmm. Prophesied of your dead right. and the next book is Matthew. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now that's a heavy point. Yeah. Because when you go into when you go into history, and this is one thing that Christians can't defeat as well, because the concept of the Savior in Israel is nothing new. When you go back to uh, uh, the book of Judges, at Ju Israel will go off and then the most high will raise a particular individual up. Yeah. When you go into the history, Okay, Malachi, that's the Medio Persian Empire. After the Medio Persian Empire, you had the Greeks. And in the time of the Maccabees, they rebuilt the temple. And what did they say? We're going to set this up until what? A prophet arises. And a prophet never arises because the prophet would typically be the savior of the people. 
But there, yeah, but during the time of the Greeks, there was really no savior. The, during the time of the Romans, that's when you're out shot right. us, and that's when they're out there with the palms. Yo, we, we yeah. do, we want to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because they're under that same structure. Right. But the, that's when you go into Revelation, the 13th chapter, the beast was hit with the deadly wound, he had to come back. Yeah, now you're yeah. out shot, going to come back and yeah. save his people. Right. But then in the midst of that, what you had, wicked false priests arising, because that's what everybody's looking for. Everybody's looking for this. Where's the Savior? Where's the Savior going to come? Where's the Savior going to come? Where's the... But that's what these niggas are doing now. They're presenting themselves as the Savior. Follow us. Forget him. Right. Follow us. We're right. the Saviors. Matthew 24. That's why the hour shot 77 in Matthew 24. They shall arise false Christ. Right. Follow them not. They right. say come here to this chamber. Follow them not. Yeah. So you individuals, especially it's no, it's no coincidence that you these individuals are bragging themselves based upon the priesthood because that's what was happening when the Israelites was uh, uh, selling themselves out to the Greeks. The, the wicked high priest, Jason, you know, the, the different individuals, you know, they, they were selling over the priesthood to Esau, you know, but then that's when the, the, the righteous priesthood was erected, right. John the Baptist, the Shai. You really start to see what the priesthood is truly all about. So John the Baptist went straight to the wilderness. Yeah, he departed from the temple. Con. And that's a point to be made for any Levite. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. He could have bragged and boasted in that position, but it was humility. He yeah. Didn't, he said, forget all of that. I'm going to go preach how it's shining. And to back that point up is because what? His father worked in the temple. Yeah. Right. Remember, he, remember, like he, he, got, he got sm he, he got smote it with the uh, what happened? He became deaf. Blind. He became blind. Remember, the angel came to him. Well, his father worked in it. He was mute. The water. The water. The water. The water. The water. Yeah. You know, he, he became mute. It showed that what that John the Baptist's father worked in the temple. Right. Right. Well, he didn't go to that service, as you say. Right. You know. Quick, quick, a precept. Since so you mentioned that point about how they were selling priesthood over and everything, and. Jake, basically, Jake, Jake right now is just waiting, man. They don't reverence the most shy and how about you know, shy. That's why it's important that we do these shows. I remember years ago back in this, the school that we had in Bridgeport, Connecticut, in the, uh, around the mid 90s, these, these two bishops before you, they remember, were on the with the rest of the brothers at that time. The spirit came on the Apostle of Cop, y'all know Apostle of Cop, right? One of the men of the Lord, the prophet, the apostle. He came heavily and taught a whole class about Yahweh Shai. Because back at one, this is during the One West time, before it finished scripture, when we were all still in One West. And the, and the spirit was on heavy, he said, the Lord hit him. Because back then, a lot of guys, you'll hear Apostle Kai say this term, these most high guys. Right. Because back then, a lot of guys said, the most high, should be the most high, the most high. Uh, uh, the chief of that was Laha. Yeah, Laha. So, but, but, but it was the, yeah, he, but a lot of people do that. But that was the vibe back then. So the, the spirit, most high showed me this, and the most high yeah. showed me that. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, what about y'all was shot? And so the spirit guy in the box, he went at the end to it. Yeah. And just like today, like these poppy pimp, greasy ass niggas in these churches, they don't glory to, you know, I was shot. They hold programs about themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, but that goes back to showing that it's the same look at Israel, like so back as these niggas. Yeah. But now this is Jeremiah chapter 2. Mm -hmm. The name, the name of the, uh, the, the, the tape series that uh, Apostle Kai did was called Exalt the Sun. Exalt the Sun. Mm. It was two parts. Exalt the Sun. Yeah. And then there's a video on uh, this old ass team we had, uh, Edomites are white or whatever. The brothers that remember that on YouTube. <laughs> With uh, Spirit on me and um, Bishop, Bishop I not, we did the same song, uh, same right. show. Exalt yeah. so, uh, the Sun, basically off of that. You know, so the Lord always brings. The spirit, because we in a time when Yahweh Shai is going to be glorified, man. Now, that's we just hoping for salvation. We're joining in. We're joining in. Yahweh Shai is the man. You know, when you know? when Yahweh Shai came, when he came as Yahweh Shai, it was the same debate. Mm -hmm. It can't be him. This ain't him. Oh, yeah. And then you had the, the, and then you had the, uh, the elect that was but, like, yes, but, it is. But now, but why was it again? It goes back to the same point. Because why? A lot of them was in league with the Roman Empire. So that's why it was, it was prophecy overall. Because they knew, right? But now, this is, again, Jeremiah 2, and, uh, and I'm going to say, I'm going to start from um, 31. O generation, see ye the word of the Lord, and how about you now, Shai? Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore, say my people, we are lords, we will come no more unto thee. That's the spirit of Jake God. That's why they say, man, look, man, everybody's doing what they want to do. Right? We look, we don't need the most side. They think they're in this exalted position. They think they're so deep. Every nigga got a 
doctrine. All these niggas got the answer, the solutions for the youth. You fixing this, you fixing niggas. You ain't doing shit without the how about you all the time, uh-huh. right? But but let me just let me just get get the rest of it. It says, can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. Mm. And you see it happening, it's being glorified, it's being thumbed up, it's being light, it's being <clears throat> promoted, right? So the Lord said, why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? <laughs> From these devils, they're doing all, they're selling the whole side short. The game with these devils, with Esau, with yeah. the world, right. clout chasing, right? It says, ye all have transgressed against me. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I jumped. It says, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore, hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the wicked priesthood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the wicked priesthood. That wicked priesthood, man. Yeah. And, and, and Esau, that's why these niggas make, like Bishop Ty said earlier, a lot of these dudes make uh, uh, deals with Esau. And it's, it's evident, and, and they work, and what they're doing. You know? There was a good point in there earlier. It said, said is the most high in the wilderness. Is he, is he, like, they're treating the most high like he can't help you. Um, mm-hmm. Get through whatever the circumstance is. Yep. You know, it's like uh, it, the most I said, my wilderness. If, if, in other words, can I not make you fruitful as well? You right. Know? Right. And and the, the, and remember, the Lord, the Lord, every time the Lord delivered us out of a situation, Jacob went right back to the wickedness, cursing the most high. That's why we needed Yahweh Shah. Right. But now it says, also in thy skirts is found the blood of the souls of the poor innocents. I have not found it by secret search. But upon all these, and it ain't hard to tell that Jake is gone, that Jake is into everything under the goddamn sun. But the most high, Paul called tripping. Right? It says, Yet thou sayest, because I am innocent, what I do, I ain't doing nothing wrong, right? A lot of these niggas are self righteous. That's why a lot of these want to acknowledge that they went off in the scriptures or they bugging out, tripping. They ain't because they say they think they're innocent. And the most high don't let them think that way so he can spank them. Yeah. It says, Surely his anger shall be turned away from you. Or the Lord ain't gonna, you know, like Lahab, the Bishop Taj mentioned Lahab. He's still thinking, he old and creepy, still going out in his pride. Yep. You know, the most I ain't gonna destroy the daughters of Zion and all this and that. <laughs> These people were out of their mind, man. It says, Why get why gettest thou about so much to change thy way? And that's what these guys do. But the Lord gave us the way, which is Yahweh Bashmael Shai. When all of us came into this truth, we learned about Yahweh Bashmael Shai. True color, that was the main scripture, right? Yeah. Scripture color scriptures. All right? Because that was what the whole world was was uh tricked or duped by thinking that the Lord was a so-called cracker or Esau. Right. So back when you first came in, the onus was on oh yeah, about exalting the outside, and now nah, the Lord is really a so-called black man, revelation, you know. But now these niggas forgot about that. Yeah. They're not into the you know, they they thinking that they advanced so much and they went really going backwards. So the Lord said, why can't I stop about so much to change thy way? They doing the most right now. Yeah. Right. You know? Thou also shall be ashamed of Egypt. Mm-hmm. It's not a miracle of spirit you call what? Right. Right. right? It says, as thou was ashamed of Assyria. See, this, this happened. That's why, you know, because we're passionate, man. Right? And we're, we get passionate and angry. But we know this thing's being played all over again, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Is that, is, that, is that the book of Jeremiah you read? Oh, yes, sir. Too. And it's, it says it's serious also, too, because at that time, Babylon, or excuse me, at that time, Jake was trying to make a contract with Syria as well. Yep. To help fight against the Babylonians, and at that time, the Syrians actually turned on them. Right. They were trying to make a contract with the heathen, trying mm-hmm. to make a contract with the enemy. At the end of the day, the Lord was like, look, trust in me versus trust in them. Right. So, and, and, and they're going to get ashamed, because now, the, the, you see the vibration, they're going hard body. It, Basically, demonize you if you don't take that deadly cocktail. You know what I'm saying? They say, "Oh, you're selfish." You know. Basically, they say you're being wicked. And they say, "Look, if you love your neighbor, you'll go ahead and do that." Yeah, that's how they flip them. You know? And so a lot of Jacobs don't fall victim to that, and they don't subscribe to that. You know, they ain't got the the, the spirit of the Lord to refuse it. Brother got up Okay, Lisa. Okay. Uh, we just jump straight to the point. This is Hebrews 12, starting in verse 24. Uh-huh. It's going into the spiritual priesthood. The church of the firstborn right here, starting with Ahabashai. It says, and to Ahabashai, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of the spring mm. that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Mm. Verse 25. It was the beginning of the prophets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
speaker the better than the ear. Yeah, the better than the ear. Right. Oh, and when he able, what did he do? He, he laid out a, a perfect sacrifice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so the the Abba Shah came with a better sacrifice. Yep. You know? Right. You know? Oh, shoot. Verse 25. See that you refuse not him that speaketh. Mm. For if they escape not who refuse him that speaketh on earth, going back to Moses, the priesthood of the Levi, it was very strict back then. You know, when you continue, it says, For him that escaped, not who refused him that speak on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Oh, my goodness. No escape, no escape. No escape. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you call it Jude, Jude 1 and uh, 4. It says, duh, duh. For there are certain men crept in unawares. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The way it's stealthy. You know, yep. you know, slip in, yep. slot, slip yep. in, yep. mouth open, mouth open. Right. Right. Yep. Look, that's why you want to come into the straight gate, man. Right. 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 You know, you brought up, you don't want to sit there and slide in and see if nobody will notice me or whatever. Nah, man. Yeah. <clears throat> coming through the straight gate, man. You know, go walk through the door of the alibi screen out the shot. You know, don't seek to get beside yourself or try to do slick stuff or whatever. Because it ain't about that. It's about exalting the sun. Right. How's the alibi shot? Right. Right. You know, so what you got? These jokes that slid up in here, man. Yeah. You know, from slippery church shoes and shit. And another thing about exalting your house shy, um, you can't lose. Uh, you know, you, uh, whenever you find yourself in a circumstance, uh, you know, whatever the, whatever it is, it don't matter. If you exalt your house shy, you can't lose. That's right. why these niggas are gonna fail in these last days. Because uh, no matter what the circumstance is, we're gonna look to exalt, exalt your house shy. Right. And they know we're gonna win. Hey, well, you know, the, the brother I not, the love uh L I not, he, he likes to quote Psalm the second chapter. It's the sun. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, all of them to bring it back to you. If you want it, keep it going, keep it going. It says, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with right. trembling. Yeah. Where does the fear at, man? Right. Uh, when you guys are speaking about your house shot, uh, you're you diminishing your house shot. Where is your fear at? Right. 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 You know, but they, they ain't going to understand until something starts happening. Right. You know? Right. Words can't teach you adversity. Yeah, exactly. This book of Jude that this brother is reading, exactly what we're going through now is what's happening. Oh, yeah, there yeah. were people coming amongst the church. Peter talked about it, and they would get the doctrine and be down. Then a month, two months later, you know, they'd be cursing out the apostles. Yeah. Willing yeah. to hear it. That's what Jude is talking about. Yeah. That was happening at that time. Yeah. Right. Cut. I'm going to keep on going. Yeah. Okay. 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 I got some more. Let's just say, let's say for or gain. You know, when you read that word of gain, it's uh, pro It says uh, to write before. It says of old set forth or, de or designated beforehand. Mm -hmm. you know, to, to depict or portray openly. Well, you designate. Mm -hmm. So that's why, in a way, like, really, we ain't like Tupac. I ain't mad at you. Yeah. You know, because you were designated to be a demon. Yeah. 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 It's coming. Yeah, because if you're coming up against the word, that's going to continue, man. Right? Mm -hmm. How can you think you're going to win if you sit there and, you, and then you're going to try to clean up, like, as a, you know, oil spill in aisle seven? Mm -hmm. No, you, you should, you should, man should be, every eye of word man speak, you should going to count for, right? Okay. And, and there's certain things, man, that you say that, you know, ain't no escaping, man. The judgment that's going to come for you, man. Yeah. You, you can't win to speak against you. Don't be, you don't be condemned anytime you speak against your how about you, how about you, right? Whether you believe it or not. You know, just because the look most I might be prolonging your judgment, the scriptures tell you the Lord is long suffering. I got something real quick. Yes, sir. It's Ezekiel chapter 13. I'll start at verse 2. Mm -hmm. It says, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Ooh. Yeah. Okay? Because uh, what they're preaching, these, these uh, wayward doctrines, not according to the Bible, that's something that they came with, with out of their own mind, right. which is contrary to what the scriptures say. It says, Hear ye the word of the Lord, the Hawabash Shai. It says, Thus saith the Lord, the Hawabash Shai, go unto the foolish prophets. Mm. And we can name a lot of them. <laughs> we can name a lot. We can go right down the list. Whoa, right? Yeah, whoa, meaning destruction unto them. You know, because that's their ultimate end. It says, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirits, right? And have seen nothing. They have seen nothing. It's, it's, a, it's a vain thing that they're, they're seeing, that they're, they're preaching. 
Right, that, that Esau, Esau doctrine, meaning things that Esau told. Him. Oh yeah, it's harmless. Why don't you hurry up and go take this? Right. This is good for you, right? They didn't see nothing, man. But that's what they said, man, stop being stupid, y'all, man. Stop with the yes, man. Just go ahead. Man, that's that's a silly nigga, man. Ooh. That's like with Joe's wife. Why don't you just because he was catching all kind of hell? So why don't you just get it over with and curse the most side? Yeah. That's these niggas. They like Joe's wife, man. Yeah. And they speak as the foolish, the foolish wives, man. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Bunch of silly bitches, man. Right. It says, Oh Israel, and then go ahead, the priest said after. It says, Oh Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Slick. Slick. Wrapped in other way to them. Them niggas are slick. He have not. Okay, and it's just if it was possible with you know, see the yeah, 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 yeah. Some of these niggas, if you ain't really into the scriptures, yeah, yeah. you know, they'll just read some stuff and, and you know, like, oh shit, I, he got a point. Mm -hmm. right. But now the scriptures say what? The simple believe in yeah. every word. Yeah. 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 He said, wise man is prudent and looking well to his going. He's going to check it out. Wait a minute, let me see that man. Like when the discomforter came out telling everybody, I'm the God sent comforter and then, you know, follow my tour bus. Oh, simple niggas followed that shit. Yeah, yeah. But now the spirit was on you. <laughs> you say, wait a minute, man. The spirit said, the Holy Spirit, the comforter is the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, whom okay. the world cannot perceive. Yeah, yeah. Not no big black oversized jelly bean talking about handle me and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, he have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. Right, into the streets. A lot of people are out there teaching. And it, this is making up the hedge. The, the hedge is the defense, right? Yeah, huh. Okay, this is the hedge. This is how you're supposed to hedge Israel in, the elect, with the word, the house side. Who to call on? The house side. Proverbs 18 and 10. Right? So this is what we're supposed to be teaching and making known and making sure brothers understand the severity. As, as repetitive it might seem, it's beneficial to the oh, yeah. right? Yeah. For the most side, it's repetitive. You can't see him stays on. Well, when you when you are a diseased or you're unhealthy or unwhole, when you take a supplement, you're supposed to like basically hammer it in. You take it like three times a day. You get it. You know, you gotta actually force it yeah. into the system. No, system. As opposed to like, yeah. As, yeah. As opposed to like routine maintenance, when you have an ailment, you get a supplement that targets that ailment, you keep hitting that motherfucker until it get better. Point right. blank. And that's what we're doing because our people are diseased and they're, uh, they're not healthy. So we got to talk about these things because Jake can listen to the videos, right? And then after that, turn on ESPN and just forget about everything. Yeah. You know, and, with, and through the spirit, the most high of the prophets being repetitive, so you so the elect can actually get it. State within their head. Oh, that's, why the, that's why the spirit is on the apostles and the elders to daily teach. You right. going, when you go into the books of Acts, uh, book of Acts, it talks about daily teaching, teaching every day. And the result of daily teaching is the congregation getting bigger. That's right. You yeah. know. Yeah. So 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 when the, the so when the apostles say, "Look, if the spirit on you to do a video, do it. If it's every day, do it. Why not? Yeah, you should be happy for that. Yeah." yeah. 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 Hey, that's what you're like, you like, Niggas that got a, a problem with doing the work of the Lord, you ain't gonna lie. And, and like the Apostle Paul said, y'all should just leave, man. You know? So especially if you want great millstone, right. this is a, a camp of, of, of production, you know? Of prophets, teachers, man. Of diligence, man. All right? Because that's the spirit that the, the elders, the apostles, that's what they set forth, man. So if you got a problem with that, then you really playing with yourself, deceiving yourself. Mind you, you should have left a long time ago. Go, go join one of these other uh, lukewarm groups. These half-assed groups, right? He says, he have oh, not... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. No, no, wait, wait. You can just... He said, he have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. Right, so that's why a lot of dumbass niggas are going to take that M-O... You know what? The M-O-B. All right? They're going to take that mark. Because why? These, they follow these wicked-ass leaders. They didn't do. They didn't tell them. They sat there talking about some, this some, oh Christianity, right? How are you gonna buy and sell with Christianity? The, the world is moving from Christianity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's all done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Christians yeah. is done with Christianity, <laughs> right? Satan. <laughs> Straight up, Satan. He used the Bible for whatever. Now he don't care about that. He saw he used the Bible to pass no laws. He used the Bible, right? Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's exactly. Right. That's right. Even the bad Bible. Yeah, yeah. Even particular Christians gonna be catching hell doing doing this new world. Right, right, right. right. Like vocab dog, they gonna lose. They mm -hmm. oh, really? You know? 
But you talk about some Jesus. This world ain't going towards Jesus Christ. Yeah, you you got to bow to Jesus on Sunday worship in order to buy and sell. No. So that, that, that doctrine got to be, that's through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To watch him. No, that's, 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 that's not a sense, man. Yeah. Why people are foolish, man. Yeah. Yeah. And it's right, it's right around the corner, too. This, uh, this uh, New York Post uh, uh, article from July 10th, which is a few days ago or whatever. It says Biden could use door to door vax effort to seize guns and Bibles. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you yeah. go. So, Christianity can't be the mark of the beast. They ain't seizing Qurans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So all the, the, uh, the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king, yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. This is what's being pre presented to, yeah. to, to the world, a new religion. Yeah. And it ain't got nothing to do with no damn Christianity, man. Right. It's, it's, it's pure Satanism via science, man. Hey, John, That's what's coming. Trans <laughs> transhumanism, all of yeah. that, man. Technology. You know, they, you know, the word science means knowledge. It's his knowledge. Right. You know, the, the the Bible is the knowledge of the heavenly father. One way, shape, or another, somebody's gonna dig something out and say, no, 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 you're going against what the Bible's saying. You know, so they do it with the Bible, do away with the Bible, and his uh, uh, demented mind, the water. You know, it's just yeah. he can he can uh, basically make a standard outside the Bible through right. science, right. and then have people you know do certain things, or you know, somebody like amputate an arm, give him an arm, and you know, with a chip, and then. All of a sudden, oh look, he got an arm now. That's those miracles, man. Right. You know, right. so he goes to be yeah. yeah. right. See, you know, you know, you know, in his mind, he's like, oh, you read the Bible and see, look, but we're doing what the Bible said it was doing. Now what? So that's that's in this man's mind. He's looking to show himself to be the most high. Right. Huh? Huh? Now, the very first, the, the, we'll read two more verses. It says, "For the king has sent letters by messengers." That's door to door. Yeah. Unto yeah, 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 Jerusalem yeah, yeah. and the cities of Judah, mm -hmm. that they should follow the strange laws of the land. You know it's going to be aimed at Jake. Door yeah, to door. Yeah, yeah. Door to door. That's what they were doing. Like, mm -hmm. nigga, you, you, for, they, they said basically forbid burnt offerings. Now, the burnt offering ain't so much the temple now, but this is a burnt, we're a burnt offering. Yeah. So they're going to tell you, you don't make your body a little sacrifice. For, for the most high, three yeah. hours shot. Don't, don't, don't follow the most high. Right. So the burnt offering right. went back to the law, right. the statutes right. that he had to offer up for right. the most high. Right. Right. So now they're telling you, nah, don't believe in the right. most high. Don't follow right. him. Yeah. Now take this. And do what we tell you. Right. Uh, so here, uh, this, this is a quote one of the brothers put in the chat earlier, uh, de Blasio, right? This is his quote. It said, We try pure, uh, we try purely voluntary, uh, voluntary over a uh, half a year. Mm -hmm. We tried every form of incentive. So we have reached the limit of a purely voluntary system. It's time for more mandates. Right. You know what I'm saying? We don't offer you niggas hamburgers. Yeah. We don't offer you niggas weed. We don't offer you niggas lighters. You know what I'm saying? We don't offer you all these different things, and y'all still won't take it. Right. So now, now we're going to put it in your face. Watch this. It says, verse 50, and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, all right, he said that he should die. In the selfsame manner, wrote he to his whole kingdom mm -hmm. and appointed overseers over all the people, mm -hmm. commanding the cities of Judah to sacrifice city by city. Yeah. Okay. So he calls them all yeah. small and great, right. rich and poor, yeah. free and born, to get down or lay down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're going to see the, and you gonna see the real priming this of, yeah. of, from a lot of niggas that you knew you went to work with. Hey, Shalom, bro, you write about that. You say about that. You're going to see them niggas think, you know, here you go. Yeah. 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 That's, That's why it shouldn't be even there. Yeah. Right. At this point, going to work, trying to preach, and rebuking right. your family. Even, even yeah. just regular people that know you, yeah. that knew you for years. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be surprised at the people that's going to sell you under. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to be surprised. 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 You're going to and he said, when y'all come looking for him, we're going to be down in the basement underneath the rock. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and he saw this is what we up against. Yeah. You know? So you got to do strongholds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Kind of, this is the book of Luke, chapter 12, we'll start at verse 49. Mm. Oh, it says, I have come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? Yeah. See, that, that's the Lord speaking, Yahweh Shai speaking, man. You, know, you got people that think that Yahweh Shai is still going to bring roses or whatever. He said he's bringing fire, man. All right, which is going to be from those chariots and UFOs. But he said, look, it's going to already be started. It's going to already be hot. Yeah. You know, World War III is going to be in effect. Right now, what you got, like with this, you know, mass uh, shortages and everything, and you got these different sanctions that the United States is <laughs> slapping on people. Russia, they said they talking they shit. You know, America's still trying to be proud. Right. Assassination <laughs> hits. Yeah, assassination. They say they hate us. That was they was just straight up with that, man. Yeah, that okay. Okay. A few other countries. They killed them. They said, okay, hey, we got this for you. Take them jabs. Yeah. They brought them like the next week. Yeah, yeah if, if that, it was yeah. a full week. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. They said, he told y'all, y'all was gonna, look, we, gonna, we killed them, now they're gonna take it. Take it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Now you know. That, that's how he's moving. Yeah. yeah. That's how he's they moving. Crazy. They're not, they, you can see the devil is fully persuaded, so we gotta be fully persuaded. Right, right. And the devil is, he's rooted in Satanism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta be rooted in Yahweh Shia Because when all of this stuff that we talk about starts to happen, if you ain't rooted, you'll look for a reason to be like, well, damn, I could take, you know, they didn't, what if it ain't the mark? You know, you don't do yeah. anything. Yeah. Right. But if you're rooted in your house shot, you understand that you have to be obedient to death. And that there's no, really no way to lose. Yeah. yeah. There's no way to lose following your house shot. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's going to boost the faith right. of the men that have already been rooted in the word. Because this is the thing that we've been talking about. You know, this is the thing that we've read. This is the thing that we've been taught. So when it actually starts to occur, you actually see it. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, like that. I told you, see, it's going to boost. It's like, we, I believe the spirit is going to be boosted. It's that like the marriage ain't going to profit. You're talking about marriage and right. all, you know, how to, you know, keep a marriage going and all of these words. We're going to be the biggest. None of that stuff ain't going to really matter that these camps have been boasting in. Right. When when the true, because that's why the scripture, your house shot comes in the value for the book. He's the fulfillment of prophecy. So this is when we up when we go into these prophecies, we're also giving praise to Yahweh Rashi El Shai. Right. And, and, and like this brother said, when it happens, we're gonna be comforted more so than oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, you know, we're gonna be comforted and have a, a foundation. Then, you know, kind of verse fifty. But I have a baptism. To, I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straight? And and how am I straightened till it be, uh, till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I have come to get peace on earth. And he had to go through what he had to go through in order to get the glory. And we understand that. That's right. That's right. Now everybody's trying to create their own glory. We got to go through the straight gate before we get the glory. That's right. And Yahweh Shai pushed that. Yeah. He pushed. Look, put your son. He wasn't known people even bowing to him. Now people did it, but he wasn't known that. He was lowly. He wasn't, you know what I'm saying, there to meet. You know what I mean? Now he deserves it, but he came lowly. Man, All right. No reputation. No reputation. He can no. Look, I got to go through the straight gate to get the praise and glory. That's right. And that's the mindset of his followers, man. That's we put ourselves, and this is why we get on, if we ain't saying music is wicked and having fun is wicked and drinking and playing. That ain't wicked. That's Israel. That's a part of our, our, our heritage. But we ain't in the times for that. Right. We say what the scripture says. Right. So we telling you, Israel, like, look, it ain't going to be. Fun and games going on there. Following how we're shy. It was never the message of the prophet. Right. That's and why he said, uh, are, you, are, you, are you able to be baptized with the baptism that I had? Yeah. 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 Because they mentioned about, you know, size and prophets, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the words of your men. It's Ecclesiastes 7 and, and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Right. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the house of but the heart of the fool is in the house of mirth. <laughs> so we just saying what the scripture is saying at the end of the day. All right, the heart of Michael two and two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Man, you go to those places. Yeah. That's why I always the fight breaks out, gunshots. Because there's wickedness going on. There's mm -hmm. demons running rampant throughout that place. Adultery going on. Women mm -hmm. there, they go in there to pop another guy, but they got a man, they got kids or whatever. They go in there to commit, to commit adultery. Men are going there to commit adultery with a woman that's with another dude. It's just nothing but wickedness going on. That's right. That's right. Dykes hooking up with each other. You know, 
those trans benders, transcenders up in there. Yeah. That's all that's going on yep. up in there. Nothing but a cocktail of wickedness like that movie. Violence Fest. Like, like that movie Jacob's Ladder. If any of you've seen that movie, when they was in, he was in the club and you see the demon dancing with the woman. Well, that's, that's what's going on up in there, man. <laughs> that's really what's going on up in there. There's a cocktail of wickedness going on in that place. And usually it ends with somebody dying at the end of the night, or a few people going to the hospital, dying at the end of the night, or a person get on the highway and they ride off a goddamn cliff because they were drunk and fell asleep behind the wheel. That's what comes as a result of that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hey, what's that scripture in Malachi where it says basically it, it's vain to walk mortally? I, I know what you're talking about. It's the third chapter. That, like, that's a good precept to what the, what you, what the elder just brought out. To walk more fully before the Lord and go into the house of the morning. Jake doesn't think that's fun. <coughs> right now, it's not fun enough. Right. Why, you know, why would you present that to Israel? That's boring. Like you have one guy, we ain't got to bring it. They said, I ain't doing no boring ass Passover. Y'all do that. Fall till I fall. Shine till I die. Let's assume they just don't stop Gloss over scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the precepts that just came out, it's better to go into the house, you know what I'm saying, of morning. Right. If it's, if it's written that it's better to go into the house of morning, you got to deal with that. Right. Now, Jake, they'll go to a scripture that talks about mirth, which mirth that has its time, but right, right. Ecclesiastes 3 yep, yep. tells you there's a time for every purpose. Yep, right. Ecclesiastes 85, a wise man's heart discerning both time and just, so you got to know according to the time when and when not. Yeah. And, that's, and, wisdom, and that's an indicator that you're looking for precepts to do what you want to do. Right. Right. See? Oh, they say you can't, they say you got to go in the house of work. No, 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 all right, here it say work. I'm going to go with work. So sorry, I'm going to ask Okay, okay, yeah. go with my thing. Okay, I got, I got, I got <laughs> something for myself. Uh, I got right. Okay, real quick, Psalms 32 and 11. It says, be glad in the Lord. Yahweh about to me, I was shy. And rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in the heart. That's what you're supposed to be rejoicing in, man. Righteousness and truth. Yeah. You know, that you should get happy with, with, with the work, man. Yeah. Prophecy coming to pass, like the, the, the elder brother said. Yeah. yeah, that's what happened during uh, the time of Paul. You know, they would teach the word of the Lord. And the, they said the scripture said that the people would rejoice. You yeah. know, that, that's you know the Christian church they get it all fucked up. They be, you know, clapping, yeah, going crazy, like, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. praise dancing, and all that. Now we're, we're throwing up. Not the thing, but when you know, when you first get this word, that's how you feel. And also too, you do the videos, you go out in the highways, and that just you feel good. You know, you, you know, the living water, man. You know. That's enough. Yeah. All right. This is our Romans. Uh, to back up the, the point uh, the brother just said about how they uh they try to justify themselves with the scripture uh doing their own thing. It says for uh, Romans ten and two, for I bear the record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. This is the point. It says, For they being ignorant of, of God's righteousness, going about to establish their own righteousness. Yep, and that's what's going on with these niggas. They're ignorant of the righteousness of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So they go about to establish their own righteousness. Yeah, like, how the hell is that righteous on the Passover, being up in a, a damn strip club trying to get a chick's number? Oh, and, 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 and it's it's the it's Sabbath. You're supposed to refrain from your pleasure on the Sabbath. And that when that main pleasure is dealing with that woman. Okay. That's, that's that main pleasure. You're supposed to refrain from that on the uh, Sabbath. The Passover has to fall right on the Sabbath. So there's no way of getting around it, but wicked men and seducers shall wax worse, right. worse and worse. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what's going on. Simple man finds an excuse according to his will. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Scriptures don't lie, man. And, and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's those right. guys. That's those guys that show me where I went off. Show me a precept. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then when you do show them a precept, they still they gonna go find another precept that they think matches what they try to do. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm, I'm doing it toward to I'm doing it toward to the word. Well, the Zillots had a zeal for the most high, but they wouldn't they weren't willing to submit themselves to Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Because that would mean they had to give up their position, they had to get that lofty mindset and they had that away. They had to be humble, yeah, humble, humble, humble and, and wait. Right way. They have weight. Carnal, not be patient. Be spiritual. Yep. Yeah. The word righteous means uh, 
how the doctors need to be balanced. You know, that whole lifestyle, that's why the scriptures tell you to be temperate in all things. Right. You know, like I was just going into, you know, you have a drink, you have a good time, but it's all about balance. And you ain't showing the balance to Israel on when and where to do those things. So therefore, you're not suited to be the leaders of the people. Right, and that's why I come to with good experience, man. You can't just instantly put yourself in a mic microwave and pop out as a, as a over elder and shit. Yeah, you're 19 years old, but you the, the great elder of this and that. You know, you ain't experienced nothing, man. All right, and especially while you have the real elders and you know apostles and stuff around you, you learn from. It's a reason why the Lord set up leadership, man, right? yeah. to teach you how to, you know, because again, going back to the Zillots and everything, they were impatient. They didn't want patient mean to suffer. Yeah, and it's not that we love, like, no, shit, we want to be out of this motherfucker yesterday, right? right? We on fire. We hate this fucker. We hate Esau, but we do what the Lord said. Wait here upon me. We know that there is gonna come time, payback, and everything, right? Yeah. So, so we just, you know, be being patient because, you know, the Lord said, you know, be patient. He just said it in the scripture he just read. I wish that it was already kindled, but I got a baptism that I gotta be. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's it. <laughs> and Yahweh Shai didn't deserve nothing because he, he didn't sin. We sin. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So Yahweh Shai said, man, you know, he said, yeah, I'm struck. I can't wait, man. He was like. You can't wait. That's why I said the vengeance is burning in him. Yeah. 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 Right. So we're built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, not the zealots. Right. So that's what you see happening through everything, you know, whoever's listening. You see that the Lord is, is having all of these things happen so you can see who really pushing his, his the true message of Yahweh mm -hmm. Shai. That's right. Because if you if you if you're here and saying you're the Sakari or it ain't even all about them or the zealot or this and this and that. What you're saying is ultimately you're not uh, you're not one with Yahweh Shai. Right, yes, right. really you have you you're, you're teaching another way, right. and that's what's being identified more than anything to me. You know, through the Spirit, yeah. that's you know more than anything that people should be really like. And you you saying all praise to Yahweh Yahweh Shai, but then you're calling yourself the Zillah of the Sakari when those ideologies were against what we what the brother just read. Right. They wanted it now. They want. They were like, we ain't subject to Rome. Yeah, I said, pay the Caesars what is Caesar. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's spiritual. Because right. the Lord said, then shall my service be made known. Right. Right. So how is the service being made known? A lot of people get confused. We got this man. We got this guy. At the end of the day, the most high exposing a lot of these guys. Like, look, oh, he thought this guy was a deep guy. He had on some shiny garments that matched everybody else, and he did a, a, a video with. Wings on his back, right. fans blowing on it, so it looked like he was flying. Yeah. Look, this nigga really is telling you to take the, the force. Right. Right? See, he ain't that he didn't he don't believe in most side, like you said. Right. He told you all this law stuff. He did that to rock you to sleep. Right. So now the Lord is making it, he's making it clear. He's making a distinction. Right. Yeah. The difference between us and them. Right. Yeah. You know? So everybody's talking about the law, the law, the law. Now they're just telling you to take right. The juice. Right. Which is against the law. I was like, yeah, right. damn. It's got all about the All these years, you've been pushing this around the law. But then when it matters, you, you know where to be found. You tuck yeah. your nuts and say, ah, oh, well, we can't really go and get. What, the, what, what are you doing? So this is what's being identified. Who's, who's, who's who and what's what. And this is what you who are listening, because it ain't about entertainment. It's about. Ooh, where's the body in your house? That's what you should be looking for. Uh, yeah. Watch the videos. Where's the men of the Lord? Yeah. But where they at? Because it was written that they would come. Yeah. But where they at? And they're not going to be. And they're going to be just like Yahweh Shai. Lowly. Yahweh Shai came on an ass. Yeah. He could have came on horses, chariots, had this big grand docious entry. He came on an ass. That's a Nissan, a Nissan century, you know? The century. Yeah, you know? <laughs> he came, you know, he came lowly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But these, like, these niggas would have read in a hummer. You know what I'm saying? Well, they did. Yeah. They just got a preset. They just got a preset. Okay. Well, you got one with two. I know y'all. This is Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples. And it exhorted them that they should continue in the faith. Yeah. Right. 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 And tribulation just as Yahweh Shai himself had to go through, right. man. You know, there ain't no way to get around that, man. That's why Mark or Matthew 7 it says, enter ye in at the straight gate, a position of difficulty, man. This ain't gonna be no easy task. We say we're in a spiritual war, it ain't no such thing as an easy war. You know? 
In that same chapter, that's why that's why they apart from there. That's why the apostle Paul said that. That's the same chapter where he got stoned. Right. You know, so he had got stoned. You know, so he was he was he was confirming and exhorting the brother and the oxygen over right. there. Like, man, look, too much this is this is what you gotta go through in order to be a servant of the hour shot. This is what you have to go through. Right. You're gonna have to go through so you, you have to suffer much tribulation to enter into the kingdom. Right. You gotta go through the same thing as your shot went through. The Yahweh shot said the servant is not greater than the master. Right. right. So we're gonna have to go through the straight gate and we here it is, we're going through the straight gate, and we seeing that Esau getting ready to come down with great grass. We're seeing the draconian laws get passed. But you got a nigga that want to argue with you, you got to worship the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And here it is, 2021, we got to go back and forth with a nigga talking about, well, we're going to say, this is the Greek word for worship. Well, you really don't technically have to the priesthood. Nigga, shut up. Right. Or not. No, or nigga, you can, you can eat a missile. At the end of the day, being confirmed too, man. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're yeah. being identified. Yeah, everybody's being identified. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Disciples is a follower. The true yeah. followers of they're being confirmed through the spirit, man. Yeah. Through that sufferings that we're taking part in. Because patience, that's a characteristic of suffering. If I'm, I may be saying it backwards. Suffering is a, a characteristic of having patience. Huh. Okay. You know? Okay. Is that a precept? Huh. Second Corinthians yeah. 1 and 5. For as the sufferings of Yahweh Shai abound in us, so our consolation also. I'm bound by Yahweh Shot. Yeah, yeah. You know, so our consolation we're gonna get right, exactly. is Yahweh Shot. Right. 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 Suffering for Yahweh Shot. Right. right. Suffering for Yahweh Shot. <laughs> yeah. I don't because at the end of the day we join heirs. Yeah. You join heirs in the in the suffering and in the glory. Yeah. Lord, you know? right. 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 This is uh Second Peter 3 and 15. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. I'm saying, don't nobody want to suffer. <laughs> don't nobody want to suffer. It's yeah, boring. Yeah, you know boring. <laughs> what it is, but the most I got to put is, has to put the spirit on you to endure it. Yeah. 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 The, the disciples rejoiced at being arrested and beaten yeah. and all those things because they were doing it for the Lord. They, they were right. part of the ministry, so they was cool with it. Yeah. They was okay with it. They rejoiced in it. Yeah. So you just, you just hear some random ass Israelite right upside the head. He gonna want blood. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about humility. It ain't about being in the spirit. It's all about that belly. Yeah. It's all about that belly. And they got they got precepts. <laughs> they believe they got precepts. No. Right. I read it again. The table made a snare, man. Right. The Second Peter three and fifteen. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. You know, because that's what it's going to take to obtain salvation, long suffering. Right. You know, uh, Revelations 2 and 10, you know, all throughout the scriptures, you see the men of the Lord have to suffer. You know, Elijah, Elisha, you know, uh, 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 Noah had to suffer with the 100 uh, some odd years, 20 years. Daniel. You know, Daniel, we had to go through, everybody had to go through so, Right, right. All the, all the men of the Lord had to go through some form of suffering. All of them. There was no such thing as them being a part of society. You know, going along, getting along, or you know, uh, accepting the ways. The reason why Daniel got thrown on the line is then because he didn't want to eat the king's meat. He didn't bow, right? And right. right. yeah, the other, there's three uh, holy children. They didn't bow to the image, right. Right. so they had to suffer. Yep. Yep. You know, so what makes this situation Babylon the great, the greatest kingdom to ever be on earth? Right. Any right. difference? Right. If anything, it, it should be more identifiable. Okay. Right. You know, because America is just mimicking. The uh, attributes and the gods of all the other kingdoms, anyway. Right. So you should be one. Uh, yeah. Assyria, Babylon, uh, Egypt, Egypt, right. Rome, all into one kingdom. They take, they got the gods and the, and the belief systems of all those different ancient kingdoms all into this one shithole called America. Come on. And it should be easy if you understand the scriptures. You can go into the history. The spirit is working with you. It's easy to identify that. Nope, not doing that. <laughs> right. Then, nope, not doing that. Yes, we're doing that. And that's when spirit kind of, you know, goes will, you know, uh, scriptures tell you, it says what? Get ye unto the great men. Right? right, right. right? Because mm -hmm. it was always men established to uh, to guide the people and guide the flock, to uh, identify the ways of salvation. You know, and it's no different now. You know, it's no different now. To, uh, the, why wouldn't the Most High set up an avenue, a pathway, you know, to, uh, to escape the destruction of America? But see, that's where faith has to kick in because America has built themselves up to be so great to where it's like, no way this place can go down. You know, or no way that, you know, uh, America's system is going to collapse. It's always going to be this system. It's always going to be this way. So we got to figure a way to, to uh, adjust, to be a part of society. 
You know, but through the spirit of Paul, y'all about you shot, through the uh, word of the Lord, there's a way out, man. You know? I got something for you. This is, uh, this is uh, Philippians 3, verses 6 down to 10. Uh, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Yahweh shot. Mm. So whatever things we could gain, we counted loss. We took a loss for the sake of Yahweh shot. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb. So all the things we lost is shit. That I may win Yahweh Shai. Because we trying to win. We trying to win the king. We trying to win, right? All, all I do is win, 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 right? So we trying to win the grand prize, which is the yeah, yeah, yeah. With Yahweh Shai to go into the kingdom. So Yahweh Shai will stand before the Most High. I know him. He's one of mine. Yeah. That's, that's what we do. They got the consolation. You know what I mean? They got the consolation. You trying to get the prize. We want, we want the grand prize. Verse 9. Three more verses. And be found in him, not having mine own righteousness. We're going to be found in Yahweh Shai, not having our own righteousness. But uh, these niggas, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and whoever out there. They're coming with their own righteousness. It's not after Yahweh shot. It says, and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, because the law, we ain't gonna get the kingdom with the law. Nope. The law was our schoolmaster, but guess what? We fucked up. We couldn't keep the law perfect. So the curse of the law is death. When you break the law, yes. you gotta go. Yes. So there had to be another way for us to still get the promise that was given to Abraham, for us to get the kingdom. The mediator, that was what Yahweh Shai came for. Right. It says, um, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Yahweh Shai, the righteousness which is of the Most High by faith. So that's how we're going to get it. Then it says, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection mm. and the fellowship of his sufferings. Those were talking about sufferings. So no way around it. We, we, we got to suffer. Mm -hmm. Being made conformable unto his death. Conformable means with form. Yeah, right. you, you said, like, like, like the elder mentioned, Mark ten. He said, "Are you, are you, you know, you gonna surely be baptized with the baptism that I gotta be baptized with?" That's, That's right. You know, form means one. Mm -hmm. The oneness to that we call. Yeah. I got something. Yeah. Yep, this is uh the book of Galatians chapter three verse twenty four. Wherefore the Lord was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Hamashiach, that was shot, that we might be justified by faith. By faith. faith, not by the works of the law. Right. We're justified by faith. Right. right. Okay. By faith, not the works of the law, because we can't keep the law. We're in captivity. No. And on top of that, the scriptures say that the creature was made uh, subject, to vanity. subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the will of the Most High. Right. Made us subject to vanity, man. Physical and spiritual. Okay. Yeah. Paul, Paul said, he said, that which I allow, I do not, and that which I do, I don't allow. It's not me that doeth it, the sin that will within me that doeth it. Yeah. So we're, we're subject, we're subject unto sin. There's no way around it, man. We're gonna go off. Then the spirit is Paul. Paul said, he said, he said, I had not known sin but by the law. Now, yep. the, and, and another reason I brought this up is because the schoolmaster, I'm gonna get into the, uh, the definition, is that the tutor, i.e., a guardian and guide of boys among the Greeks and the Romans, the name was applied to trustworthy slaves who were charged with the duty of the supervising the, the life and morals of boys belonging to the better class. So the schoolmaster would guide the younger boy, but eventually the younger boy would be over the schoolmaster. Right. You know, so the schoolmaster, meaning what? The Lord, it doesn't, look, of course the Lord is going to have dominion over us, but Yahweh Shai brought a greater gift so that we're not in subject to the Lord right. anymore. Right. Right. Because that young boy would be no longer subject to the schoolmaster. He's over the schoolmaster now. That's why the scripture says the Lord's going to be written in our inward parts. So we're not going to have that battle. We're not going to have that tussle, as the elder mentioned in uh, what's that? Romans the seventh chapter. Right. Because Paul was going through that war, right. that back and forth, because you know he was up on, you know, he knew the law. Right. But through Yahweh Shai, it's like, okay, we don't have that burden anymore. And right. that's why you also too, when you go into Galatians the third chapter, what did Paul go into? He went into, he said the, the bondman. He said we're, we're, we're not, we're not uh, uh we're not children of the bond woman, right, right. but of the free woman. That's right. 
You know, because the bondwoman represented the law. Right. You know, so you were in bondage under the law. But you being the heir under Yahweh Shai, now we're free men now. That's, that's what Abraham right. comes in because he wasn't circumcised. Right. So according to the law, he right. shouldn't even been exactly. accepted back, you know, but he, he went before Melchizedek in an uncircumcised state. Right. Which is what we That's grace, man. Yeah. The same thing with Jacob and Esau. Right. right. If it was according to the law, Esau would get the blessing for exactly. the firstborn. And Melchizedek is the mediator. Yeah, yeah. Con. You see? Con. Like, bro. Yup. <laughs> same, same thing with uh, uh, um, David. Who was it? Isaac and, Isaac and uh, um, uh, uh, Ishmael. You know, if it was according to the law, Ishmael got the blessing. That's right. That's right. Isaac got the blessing. Why? Because it was through grace and mercy. That's it. That's it. Through, basically through election. Period. Right. <laughs> and then now the most I'm looking at his sons now. Right? The king and his son. So the son is only his father for so long for the foolish. And so he's able and ready to take the throne. So now he looked at his sons. And now we know how to rule the kingdom now. We got to go through the bullshit to be kind of guided by our father. So now... We join that with Yahweh Shai, right? That's why it causes no more friends, the sons. Yes. So now we're ready now, Lord willing, to go into the kingdom and yep. rule friends. and take yep. the air, you know? Right. We join that with Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Even, with school, even with a schoolmaster, you know, like with the law, like when you read the law, when you read in the law in its totality, you should look at it and it should cut you. Every time. And every time that you read it and you read the law knowing that it's cut you, you're like, man, I need, I need help, I need mercy. And that's when you. That's why it, when you read it, it's a schoolmaster that brings you closer to your Shah because you understand and know that if it's only by this, only by the law, there's no salvation. We're done. It's a shadow of things to come. It's a shadow of things to come, which point. That's why I said the school. The, the law was a schoolmaster that pointed us to Yahweh Shah to look at him as a source of salvation, not based upon your own merit. Stony heart line yeah. that changed to a heart of flesh. Yeah. Yeah, a little, little more on it. It says, uh, the boys were not allowed so much as to step out of the house without them before arriving at the age of manhood. So you were so eventually you there's a growing process because if you're still teaching the law, you're not really teaching the people how to grow. You know, you're not really teaching Israel to, you know, how to be a man essentially walk in the spirit. You're walking thank you, the water, that's perfect. The walk in the spirit. You know, because when you walk in the spirit, that's when you, you know, the scriptures tell you uh I would say, uh, oh man, was Hebrews the fifth chapters? He says what? Uh, senses, yeah, senses be exercised. You be a full age to eat uh, uh, full uh, meat. Yeah, because yeah, right. then yeah, you yeah. become yeah. a full. You're a full yeah. age yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Con. Hebrews right. the fifth chapter. Yeah. You're a full age. You're a full age. What? By your senses being exercised. Right. Right. Not how much you can keep the law to a T. Right. Right. And you, you know, don't need to look at the fringes. Right. A lot of people boast in fringes. That was right. because of disobedience. Jake was, you know, who kept sinning. So the Lord said, "Well, put the fringes so you can remember." We now I got to be in you. Exactly. Yeah. It's like exactly. taking training wheels off exactly. your bike. Yeah. Exactly. It's like taking training wheels off your bike. Right. right. The, the training wheels don't stay on. Eventually, you can ride. You can ride the bike. Yeah. Get good at it. Pop with it. Not through the spirit. That's what I'm saying. Like, really, really, you got to look down. Really. And then, you, and then, all the dudes is boasting in the fringes. They looking down at the fringes and ignore them. Yeah. Like, bro, yeah. come on, man. They missing the, they still missing the point. <laughs> still going off on the Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right, because that, when you go to that story about the fringes, you know, in numbers, yeah, yeah. it was because the dude picked up, he was working on the Sabbath, then they put him to death. So what did they say? For, 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 all right, so you can remember not to sin on the Sabbath, mm -hmm. put the border, the, that's what it was for. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So then here it is, you got niggas saying if you want to work your fringes at this, but then now sin. They say you can have sex on the Saturday. Yeah, mad. Yeah, nigga in the barbershop. Yeah, nigga in the barbershop get lined up with a fringe t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what it is. No, literally. Like literally. I mean, you gotta think about that, man. You teach people they can have sex on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. You can party, yeah. do whatever the hell you want to do, but then you boast in the fringes. Yeah. But well, the fringe, the story surrounding the fringes was because Jake on the Sabbath was was, was going off. That's confusion. Yeah. Hey, well, I, I got something for you. This is here. It's uh Second Corinthians chapter three and uh, thirteen. Oh, well, I started twelve. It says, seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. It says, and not as Moses, which put a veil over his face. Mm -hmm. That the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. 
Now, what it means abolish means an act, not that it's done away with. A covenant. No, that's a cup. So, a lot of times, Jake, read that, you know, now the law ain't done away with. But it's the, 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 look, the Lord gave us that new covenant. All right? Because why? The, the schoolmaster was to get us to the hour shot. But it said, but their minds were blinded. For until this day remains the same veil on taking away in the reading of the Old Testament. Right. They read it in the law, and they don't even realize that the law is prophesying about Yahweh Shai. Right. The whole time. The whole time. Yeah. So they still they still blind. Right? And it says, in which veil is done away in Yahweh Shai. That's why the Lord told me, you've got to be born again. again. So that way, now we come into the truth in this Yahweh Shai. And that fellow's taken away. Now you understand what the law was that, look, we, the law was perfect, but we wasn't. Right, right. But we had to go through, again, we had to experience the best thing, as, it's, as the saying goes, right? Yeah. But we had to experience what it was to go off so that we won't do it again. Right. You know, it's an old theory. If you tell your son don't touch the stove, then you're going to get burnt. He going to, as soon as you turn around, he's going to touch that motherfucker. Yeah. He never got, got burnt before. But after he had burnt, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know? Now I will. And, and, and the same, the, uh, the same law is going to be put in our inner parts. Right, it's, right. It, 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 it's the same law. It's going to change. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? We've got to change. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said he's going to change us and then right. put the laws in our inner parts, which will make us perfect. Right. Right. It's, it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's an upgrade. Yeah. That's, why, that's why when Moses had the veil, I mean, you got to think about it. When he put that veil on from reading and actually receiving the physical law that was written on stone, that goes to show you how glorious it is. Right. It's face shine. It's, it's face shine. And it got the glorious yeah. look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, look, yeah. 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 If he got the veil that was that glorious, just imagine the glory that's going to be with this new covenant that's right. still in shot. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? The law's going to be in. You ain't going to have to read the law to try to figure out, dang, well, you know, am I going off? It's going to be in you to know right, right from wrong, man. You ain't going to, you never, that's you ain't going to go off. Come, come. 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 Uh, your Harless, the Harless, Judah, Israel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He be going in on the Yeah, he stayed on the <laughs> It says, uh, 2 Corinthians 3 and 14. But their minds were blinded, for unto this day remain at the same veil, untaken away, in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in the Mashiach. Now they think that we're saying the law is done away with. No, that covenant. Right. Right. Done. Yes. It's been removed. Yeah, yeah. Was exactly. We can rent. We can withstand it. Like, right. At the end of the day, it was right. It was temporary. Right. Like the law of sacrifice. All right, that was for its time. It had its time, but it was already written. Remember, the super speak speak about speak about preordained. Everything was predestinated. The outside was the lamb which was slain before what? The foundation of the world. So he was already going to be that sacrifice. The Most High already knew that we were going to go off or whatever. Then he was going to do away with the laws and then bring in the outside, the blood of the outside. So that was already set up. The laws not done away with because, like Yahuzak said. Those same laws was going to be put in our inward. Exactly. Which is Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and if anybody don't understand, then hey, it ain't for you to get it. Yeah, you can't, you can't receive that. That's right. not what the scriptures are saying. Yeah. 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 Go, yeah, exactly. Grace grace is so important, man. Like, this yeah. grace period, man, was, man, call the lawyer, how much for your That gave us a, yeah. we can now offer up a sacrifice in an unclean state. Yeah. acceptable, yeah. And it be accepted, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Abraham. Yeah. yeah. He was uncircumcised, and he was, yeah. you know, able to, you know, mm -hmm. turn back to his heritage as the son of God. Son, the son of God. Yeah. It does, because it all yeah. does revolve around being accepted by the Heavenly Father. You know, and yeah. in order to be accepted by the Heavenly Father, you have to go through the yeah. Yahweh Shah, yeah. which was that perfect sacrifice. Mm -hmm. you know? and, you have, and you got to hope that you were chosen Come. Right. Right. Come. To, to be a part of the Yahweh Shah's program. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to hope you were chosen because you got a lot of people that's sincere, but they not, it don't matter, they're not chosen. So they're not going to make, you might see, bro, oh, man, he's cool, or you know a few things, or you can all these scriptures. Right, you got a lot of Jake out there that quote a lot of scriptures, but they don't have to understand it. Or they get tripped up over these things, stumbling blocks, you know? Yeah, man, so it is deep, man. It's deep. It goes back to the election, you know, who, you know, Lord will have mercy on whom he will have mercy, right? And then the only thing, the best we do is give diligence to make that call an election sure. You know, and the brothers should be getting even more and more diligent. 
the closer we get to the coming of Yahweh Shah. Let me tell you about the prayer of the, the uh, wise virgins. They went out to meet the bridegroom. All right, they trimmed, and they, they trimmed their lamps. See, so this is what we're doing now. We're just trimming our lamps. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, yeah. I didn't ready to meet Yahweh Shah. We wasted our oil like, like the woman. I mean, they put that oil, the woman put that oil on your house. Right, right. right. The, the, the Jake was like, wait, whoa, 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 you know, we wasted oil on your house. Wait, wasn't was that a, a zealot that, that was tripping? Well, yeah, it was. That was mainly uh, Judas. Judas. Now, now, all of them were a zealot. Yeah, but it was a Judas. Judas. You made me Judas. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then there's a shipping chain not that he really cared about. Like, he really didn't care about it. Like, yeah. They're yeah. like, basically, yeah. look what we can do with this oil. Yeah. We can make money. We can do this. We can do that. We can make set the oil table. But, but we but, but the scripture say not that they really cared, right? Because right, right. yeah. he was just that was just uh, uh, bluffing. Yeah, he bluffing. Right. Yeah. But he really just wanted to try to set you should have tried to set it off. Right, right. right. But he just picked, you know that's what then you got guys that just do that and to make a point, right you know there. false false yeah. things whatever just to bring it to a carnal level or, or right. detract from the message of Yahweh and Yahweh in the word. Twisted, twisted, right. twisted the yeah. word. Because it says what this twisted did is pretty much. Uh, always uh, talk about this because she put the oil on your house, yeah. Head, and that's really Israel, yeah. You know, if your house shot comes, he said, Before you have it, you all the time, right? Right, right. right. Me, right. Me. I'm about my, my time is up, he's about to be uh, first, right? So, when we do these videos, when we uplift in your house, that's us pouring that oil, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. represents the word, that's yeah. yeah, that's right. That's yeah. another thing, that's the point, man. Yup, yeah. yeah. and everybody looks at it like it's stupid. Like, right. why would you just waste the oil on your house shot? Right. You know, we could do it. <laughs> and again, showing you no respect. Respect for your house shot. Right. right. Mm -hmm. and that goes back. I'm sorry. Yeah. sorry. That goes back to the, that really actually goes back to the law whenever the, the priest has to pour that frankincense yep. over the yeah, bread. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, he, he is the bread to be eaten, man. You can't right. sit here and try to find, you know, the foul bread, that, that, you know what I'm saying? And then you the hot, you this chief exalted high priest poobah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you, hey, the scripture says that the Lord resists the proud. You trying, you trying to find a way to be extremely proud, trying to go into this thing, and the Lord going to resist you. He's re Go back and look at history. Yeah. All the men that was proud against the Lord of boast like Uzziah, Uzziah the king. He tried to go into the temple that sacrifice and sacrifice. Man, most of us smote him with leprosy in the temple, man. They, and they kicked his ass up out of there, man. You know, so you you know, you know can't come into this mindset with a haughty, high, proud mindset, man. You know, that's what I said. We'll get a few more, you know. This, this is uh, Matthew 26 and 26. It says, Now when Yahushua was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. And that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. When we do these videos, we're pouring the oil on Yahushua. Anoint you know? Yeah. 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 And Bethany means the house of misery. Wow, the house of mourning. Yeah, the house of mourning. Better to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's why this whole thing yeah, come, come. Oh man, verse eight. It says, "But when the disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, to what purpose is this waste?'" Wow. Well, this and a lot of times the disciples didn't understand particular things. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord had to. Things had to happen, you know, in order for them to. Mm -hmm. And that was when you go into the different account. That was Jesus who said that. Matthew 26. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Judah probably his, his, his spirit probably jumped on them for a yeah. minute. They were probably like, hey, man, he he's probably been saying something to them. You know, I'm saying then the fact that it was a woman, like what did she know? You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. <laughs> yep. uh, verse uh, nine. It says, For this ointment might be, uh, might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she had brought a good work upon me. Why trouble ye us? For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, whosoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman had done, be told for a memorial of her. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, woman, that, 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 that actually physically happened with that woman. It, but it also represents the nation of Israel, you see, as that woman, you know, that was it. Wow. Yeah. Humility, man. It's all about your how about you, man. That's, that's what we're here to do. You know, and it's boring to a lot of men, but 
by the breath of the most high with the host of heaven made so that goes to prove that who created the angels yeah yeah how was i created the angels that's man. right so the scripture says that if it says thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven do not the angels praise your how about you consistently day and night oh consistently bowing down to your how about you so the angels doing it but we don't got to right. it says uh, it says, uh, as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than <laughs> By inheritance, man. Wow. Yeah, how was I got it by inheritance, man? Obtained a what? A more excellent name. 
All right? That's right. the son of the most high. He's the deliverer, man. He's to be worshipped. He's to be glorified. The most high is seeing to that, man. The most high is gonna make sure you how the is glorified, man. Right. right. All right. It says, For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Right. Throughout the whole history in the scriptures, he never said that to none of the angels. Right. Which they rejoiced in his eyes. All right, they, they lived 24 7 to preach and do the will of the most high. But he never came and said that to Michael, Gabriel, and those are his top angels, right? That rejoice in his eyes, as the scriptures say. Go ahead. It says, uh, sorry. It's all right. It says, For which of the angels uh, of the angels said he, at any time, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, he, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of Yahweh worship him. So the angels of the Lord can worship Yahweh Shai, but not a nigga on earth. Right. Exactly. That don't make no goddamn sense. They're angels too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. God. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, that, that was heavy, man. Yeah. That's a mic drop right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that spiritual mic drop. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a mic drop right there. Yeah, man. That's, so now we know why they, yeah. some people want to doubt the validity and eliminate the book of Hebrews. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's too high power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's too high yeah. power. Yeah. 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 The book of Hebrews shows the difference of the cardinal ordinances and the spiritual yeah. ordinances and the right. representation of the cardinal right. ordinances. And how was manifestation to the understanding of Yahweh Shah. Man, listen, man. I mean, I don't know what they oh, got anything up, but yeah. that's like what enough said right there. Yeah. I'll be real with you, man. Like that. Yeah. Right, man. Yeah. But, you know, hey. Nah. hey I got on. Um, I just wanted to get you. Okay, what did you got? Uh, uh, this so is uh, Colossians 1 and 12. Uh -huh. right now. Yes, sir. For giving thanks unto the Father, Yahweh, which mm -hmm. had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, Yahweh Shai. It's Yahweh Shai's kingdom. Right. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, through Yahweh Shai, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature, of every creature, for by him were all things created. That means all the angels that came after him. He was the first spirit created, and then he created all the other spirits. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in the earth, visible and invisible. Look at that. That are in the earth, visible and invisible. The heavens, out of space, the other planets, the galaxies, created by him. It says, and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Yeah, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Look at that. He is before all things, and by him everything consists. What the hell are these monkeys talking about? And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn from the dead, Yahweh that in all things he might have the preeminence. And what's the preeminence? Superiority. 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 Supreme. Yep. Supreme. Yeah. He's going to have that he, supreme rule. Right. That's right. He has the dominion. The authority. Right. The dominion. Yeah. So he's worthy to be worshipped. That's right. King. Mm -hmm. All the spirit. Oh. And that's the king. king. That's heavy, man. Right? Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to share some. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, more. No, that's it. That's pretty much it. Now, this, this was sent to me. Now, this is something, you know, on another tip. Show me that we get in that time where brothers got to keep them prayers going, you know, like Apostle Pastor, you medicine strong with the most high. I mean, in other words, the spiritual medicine is, is the prayers, all right? Because we, we, our weapons are, are spiritual. We don't have no carnal weapons. The only weapons we got is the power of prayer and his word that the Lord gave us. But now, this was for, and maybe some of you brothers might know, I don't know what you can This came from, but Bishop I then sent it to me, and uh, this was for it. It said, there's a brother that's been listening to us being the camp that, that, that he was in for a few years, but his mom put him in a mental house because of the truth, and he had anemia and other medical issues. He came out today after a couple years, 
just wanted to show you your prayers were up to the camp. So I'm, I, I'm so, yeah, the brother made it to the camp after all those years. Wow. His mother was trying to lock him up and said, you know, he, 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 he prayers he kept, uh, I don't know in case you want to put it, uh, show it to the brothers that are doing on, on, on his channel too as well. All right? So that's showing you the power of the most side. Oh, and remember, he said, and your weakness ain't going to make strong. So the Lord ain't, ain't looking for a bunch of mighty men, right. you know, or nothing like that. He's looking for the, the weak, the lowly, you know, them that's of a contrite heart okay. and a broken spirit, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, the, the brother, stay strong. The Lord is going to deliver us, man. This brother got delivered. That's hell. Going yeah. through a, yeah. a mental yeah. asylum for him. Years? You know they were drugging him up. No, they was drugging him up. I mean, but he stood there, he got the garment on and everything. Hey, that brother's going to be changed. He's going to be, that's a mighty man. So I just wanted to just bring out, just to show, show brothers, you know, the power of your how about you now inside, man. You know, and hey, we getting close to that, that time of power, man. Look. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. But you did. Yeah, that's, that was it. That was it. That was it. Uh, Psalms 147 and 10. He delighted not in the strength of the horse. He, ta he taketh not pleasure in the legs of men. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, and whose hope is in his mercy. Yeah. See? The Lord takes pleasure in them that fear him, man. All right? So, hey, brothers, y'all that fear the Lord, continue with it, man. You know, no matter what, man. You know, that's heaven, man. So, I guess it was with that. Anything else that needed to be said? Thank you. Well, Lord, you know, to the next time. Hey, brother, stay strong in the faith. Shalom. 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 Hey. Shalom.